I can't believe summer's over. Fall was so fast and here we are, stuck in the winter season. I hate this winter. It's so cold. I need to wear my scarf and my hoodie. And if you're stuck at home, do you know why we need to wear all those clothes when it's winter? Yes, because it's too cold and we need to adapt. Otherwise, we will die freezing here. Hmm. Doing some hot tea to feel warm. Check this class that I have for you. We are going to talk a lot about adaptation. Hello guys, did you like the video that I made for you? <laughs> I'm not so crank like that, but still, I do not like winter so much as I use it to. So guys, as I said, the class that we have today is a related, it is all about adaptation. And we are going to learn here how plants and animals adapt to their environment. So the first thing I want to ask you guys it is, what is adaptation for you? What comes in your mind when you listen this word? Mm, think a little bit. Let's see. If you said that adaptation is an action or a process of adapting or being adapted, you did right. So let's think in your daily life. For me, teacher Jay-Z, when I think about adaptation, it comes in my mind. When my cell phone is almost dying, running out of battery, and I want to charge it, but I cannot find a place to plug my cell phone, I go crazy. Seems that I'm going to die, okay? So adaptation for me, it is this. Ta-da! Nice, right? It is a mess, I know. Not a good idea, but it's what comes in my mind. But somehow makes sense because I'm doing whatever I need to keep my cell phone alive. Okay, so let's see an adaptation of related to our science class. So we are not talking now about cell phone. Now we are talking about organisms. So I mean animals and plants. So what they need to do? They need to adjust themselves to the environment here to survive. Guys, pay attention to this word, to survive. I'm not saying to get comfortable or to have fun. No, they need to adapt to survive. They have to, okay? And what is this word environment? Hmm? Oh, nice. If you said it's the place that they live in, is the habitat you said right okay you think just like i am so let's see what we have here the first thing you need to know about adaptation is we have two different kinds of adaptation so the first one it's called structural adaptation this is all related about physical features of an animal or plant that enable them to survive in their environment. The example that we have here is the penguin. Penguin has a blubber to protect uh, itself from the freezing temperatures. So let's see a picture to understand better. So blubber means fat. So here the fat that they have under here, the skin, protect them of the protect them from the freezing environment they live in. See, even the baby here already has a blubber. Means like they are a little bit fat, a little bit chubby, okay? Let's see another an example. Guys, I love talking about polar bear as an example of adaptation. The first thing that we can see here in the polar bear is, let's go. The polar bear, um, it's, they have like big flurry paws and act like snowshoes when the polar bear is walking on the snow. Mm. 
So the paths here like, uh, act like snowshoes. Nice teacher. Let's think about that. So the floor stop the paths from sliding on ice and also keep the paths warm in the cold. So guys, it's just like protecting the polar bear. Not to, do not fall down the floor and not to freezing. Okay. So look here. The flurry here, the flurry part here helps them do not fall. Isn't it cute? I love this picture. So did you understand? This is an adaptation to live in the environment. Okay, but not all. We have another one for polar bear. Hold on. Look here. The po the hair that make up the polar bear fur are hollow. So what does that mean, teacher? Means there is nothing inside. It's just like the straw that you use to drink your milkshake. Okay, so the warmth from the sun travels down to the hollow hair to the polar bear skin, keeping the bear warm in the cold weather. So that means the sun is here, right? So the warmth from the sun comes here through the polar bear floor and gets into the polar bear skin. Let's see a picture of this. Ta-da! Nice, you right? If you put a uh, polar bear floor in the microscope, you will just see like this. So I can say that the, the sun light goes down from here, right? Let's see here, guys. The polar bear also has an excellent sense of smell, which help it run the seals, poor seals. So the sharp claws and teeth help the polar bear catch and eat its prey. Mm, see? I think this polar bear is hungry. But I will draw a slice of pizza here. Okay. I don't think like polar bear they eat pizza. I think they prefer fish or even seals, right? But I don't know how to write, how to draw seals, so I drew a slice of pizza. That is okay. Let's stop playing and let's keep it in this class. Let's go, guys. Another example, it is this guy here. This guy has lumps. That means they, they can save and keep fat and energy. Look, here it is. So, guys, here we, we can find fat and energy. Why? Because we know that camel, they live in a place that it's hard to find water and food. So when they find, they eat a lot and they save some here so they can still alive for a while. Another information. Eyes. Three layers of eyelashes. Picture please. Mm. It's really hard to put some makeup on here. You need to use a lot of mascara. Guys, why do you think they have like three layers? Like one, two, three layers of eyelashes. Do you know where do they live? Mm. Yes, that is true. It's to prevent of getting sand here in their eyes because it's pretty common sandstorm in the desert. Nice. Let's see another one, another information. Feet. So the designer of the feet here, it is to help them to move easily through the sand, prevent them sinking. So like it means to get stuck or even like when they, they walk here, go deeper. So the designer of the feet help them to move easily through the sand. Isn't it nice? Now I will show you guys one example of plants. Let's see. Cactus. Cactus has less surface area than other plants. Mm. See, there's no leaf in cactus. Let's see another information here. Less water escapes. Mm, for example, here, teacher, I did not understand very well. I will draw here for you guys. I don't know. Let's pretend this is a 
normal, ordinary flower. -na 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 -na, what a nice flower. So here with the leaf, we have more surface to the water evaporate. So the water will escape. This way the cactus are designed, they can save more water. Okay, let's see more. Protecting for animals, because this cactus does not look taste at all, right? And they have exicodes. So do you, do you know when it's your birthday and you're blowing the candle? So it's the same material of the candle here. So that means that prevents the water escaping, okay? So it's hard to the water go through this coat here. Let's see here. And they have long roots. Why? Because it's hard to find water. So the roots need to go really deep here to find some water. And the example that I said about the surface, it's better to understand if you think about this container. Look at the surface here, it's long. So it's easier to the water escape from this container than this one, right? So all the examples that I gave you guys was what kind of adaptation? Mm? Think a little bit. This is called about the physical. Okay, good job. Now we are going through to the another type of adaptation. It is called behavioral. Mm, behavioral means that is related to the action of those animals and plants they, are, they do to try to survive in the environment. Mm. So let's see an example here. Again, bears. Bears, they hibernate in the winter to escape the cold temperatures and preserve energy. Guys, I like to say that when this kind of process is just like when you put your cell phone in the airplane mode. You are trying to save the energy, the battery from your cell phone, right? When you do that, it's the same thing. You're still alive, your cell phone is still alive, but you know that you don't have a place to charge your cell phone. So you're going to put in the airplane mode. It's just like the way the bears, the bears they think. I will sleep for a while so I can save energy. That's a cute picture of a bear here sleeping. Oh, see, we can see that they still have fat here. The bears, when they started this process, they still have fat. So when they wake up, we can see them then skinnier, right? Because they use it, the fat, during the time they're sleeping. Let's see another example of behavioral adaptation. Let's see this. This, this example here, it's related about action as well, okay? So the muskoxen here, they run in pack, that means group. They do a circle here, guys, they do a circle. In the middle of the circle, you can find the female and the youngest ones. So the male here, muskoxen, goes to the front of the circle to protect the herder here, right? Because it has a big horn here. So look at this wolf here. He looks pretty scary. So in this way, it, they can protect themselves. So it's a behavioral adaptation. It's related to the action that they take. Okay, let's see more. Oh, more example about hibernation, but it's not from bears. It's, it's it's related to bats and squirrels, okay? So, I wrote here, what is hibernation? It's a special adaptation. It's when a body uh, temperature falls and the heart beats slowly. You know when we are running, yeah, our heart beats faster. And when we are calm and sleep, our heart beats slowly, right? So because of this change, the animal needs less energy to survive when the food is hard to find. 
that's why they do that during the winter because during the winter time it's hard to find food okay guys is the example that i said about putting your cell phone on the airplane mode it is just to save energy let's see here cute picture look at that nice right so now it is your turn i want to make a question so what are the two types of adaptation we learned it in this class -na 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 -na. think a little bit mm -hmm. it is said they are structural and behavioral adaptations you did a great job guys do not forget we still have questions to answer okay we have question about why do the birds they fly they travel to another country sometimes and questions about what you would like to ask to an animal about adaptation okay see you next class bye bye